what's going on guys welcome back to another reaction we're finally getting into pixies addicted now before we get started i did watch the clips leading up to this music video with the fairy who was thrown off the cliff she was approached by a mysterious butterfly and everything that followed was very 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 creepy and very interesting i'm uh, i'm absolutely uh mesmerized by this group we've only checked out three of their songs with their debut then let me know now addicted also checked out villain which was absolutely amazing i don't know if i'm if i should be even more excited for bewitched i'm not sure which one of these you guys i already forgot which one of these music videos you guys said would completely obliterate me a few moments later <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. I love her. I, I love the combination of the outfit reminding me of like early 2000s hip hop music video, but then the aesthetic behind them and everything is just so k-poppy that but dark that's so freaking cool let's take it back so the one thing that kind of threw me off in uh let me know is i i was sure that dia was the fairy that got thrown off but then something happened throughout that music video that kind of made me feel like it was another fairy but obviously it was indeed dia and uh she, she, I, I really love them all, especially after villain, the way they carried themselves and their confidence and everything. But Dia is just wonderful. She's, uh, she's my favorite so far. I love the dark vibe here already. It's just, oh. I love how the walls were literally closing in on her as like create this uh this effect of not being okay much like the lyrics are are saying this is so freaking cool I didn't notice it the first time around. Enough pausing. I love the fact that if you just take the lyrics from this music video without looking at the video, it kind of sounds like they're talking about, you know, somebody who is pulling them very close, being addicted to someone. But in context with this music video, it creates a really cool dynamic and them being kind of like addicted to striving towards getting those wings. Like they literally were succumbed to that, uh, that being that convinced the other fairy to make all of the other fairies believe that Dia went out for herself and tried to find those wings by herself and therefore throw her off a cliff. Like getting so addicted into that whole uh, lore and getting those wings is more important than the friendship. 
Uh, whereas with Dia, like she was thrown off and then, you know, she followed that butterfly and uh, shit got kind of creepy. But uh, yeah, very, very interesting stuff. And also there was that the, the butterfly turned into a person, a one, one winged uh, fairy or something, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take it back to that course because it was so freaking good. And the thunder going off. This is my favorite song by them so far. Oh. Oh. I love the color gray, the, the, the red strobing and everything, uh, like being so blinded by, in the lyrics, by, by, by the love. And it's, I'm not to blame for my intensity of what I want, of how much I want you. But here, like, the red represents more like blood and hate and the fact that I'm going out of my way to get what is mine kind of with with the storyline of the of the wings and everything and the fairies kind of looking for dia who they threw off ah, this is just so freaking cool and her rap is awesome Wait, does that literally represent her kind of burying her friends? We see butterflies, we see same color uh, flowers as the butterfly. We see Dia being pushed, being trapped and everything. I guess it's before that butterfly comes to her and tells her to, she tells her to drink that thing and all the pain will go away and everything will set her free or something. But these visuals are fucking awesome. <laughs> Does she represent the fairy that convinced the other fairies that was corrupted the first the first fairy to get corrupted? And that's why we see, you know, empty seats with the flowers and the soil on the plates, like to represent almost like a grave or some sort, which also kind of speaks to her being so addicted for that to get those wings and you know, whatever. Uh, I love the smile too and this intense stare, that transition was beautiful. Wait, does that represent the, the thing that she drinks in, in that preview? Because the second it hits her eye, it's almost like the whole universe is being unleashed, unlocked, like her mind is being kind of, and she herself is being unleashed from those shackles. This is amazing. Did I say that already? Take a shot every time I say this is amazing. Because this is amazing. Sorry. Drink responsibly. Is that literally blood stains all over the walls there? Holy shit. Darkness plants into my soul. Ooh. Oh. Holy 
let's take it back because I cannot. Wait, is that that's Dia? Is she? Wait, she's smiling at her. It, is she the one who convinced the other the other fairies to throw Dia off the cliff? And literally, holy shit, the whole table is soaking with blood. Is the is the blood like literally burying all of the friends, or is the blood like burying of their friendship in a way? And she kind of like betrayed her by making it seem like Dia betrayed them. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> They got completely corrupted or something? All of the fairies? The red oh. moon opens his eye. Now you're addicted. And from now on, I'll be with you. And you'll be mine. What the fuck? Holy shit that was amazing this was absolutely amazing if you guys can fill in the blanks the, the stuff that i kind of either missed or stuff that i got wrong the girl who was pulled through that wall as she sees all of that darkness the red stuff on the wall and she gets pulled and then we transition to that scene on that table i thought it was that girl but then it kind of looked like dia but now i'm not really sure if it was dia the important thing is that this is the best song that I've heard from Pixie so far, and uh, I loved Let Me Know. I adored Wings. I absolutely loved Addicted. But this, uh, the constant upping the ante with the darkness was just something mesmerizing to watch. Visually, this music video was absolutely insane, and uh, this was absolutely amazing. So, you guys, let me know what you thought about this reaction. Uh, let me know your thoughts and theories about this music video. Fill in for the, some of the stuff that I perhaps missed or got wrong and just kind of set the, the, the story uh, straight for me, I guess. Uh, always love hearing your comments and your enthusiasm uh, about these stories. Uh, and, uh, you know, every time I kind of react to a song, I'm trying to uh, get as invested as possible because... I, I go through more than just looking at the lyrics, but I really love looking at the visuals. It's something with K-pop specifically that really attracted me to the genre uh, in terms of the storytelling that goes into it and how many meanings you can pull from out of there. So uh, the actual song was amazing. The lyrics were very nice as well, but just the lyrics in context, in context with the actual story of this, uh, the storyline in general, is what really kind of uh, sets Pixie kind of apart. Uh, and what really made me truly fall in love with them already after just uh, free music videos with Villain and now absolutely 100% <laughs> they are one of my favorites uh, for sure. So if you guys have any thoughts, theories, clarifications, let me know in the comment section below. I always love reading your comments and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.